bounties. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Deke, hey, I'm here. When we rode on a farewell, the Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was, who took Sarah. Wait, what, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? O'Brien. He wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. Uh, you were saying something? What are you talking about? We Down you go. So, uh, what, what were you saying? What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard. Okay. I went into their LZ, and they. Wait, wait, you went into their LZ? What the? Yeah, listen. I the radio. Talking about a man named O'Brien. Geek. Not loser. Not Boozer, I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh, get some sleep. Deke it out. This is Radio Free Oregon. Went down. And I was one of the few. Most who spoke out against the feds. Well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. I know. Because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van. Moving from town to town. In the days before the roads came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland. Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. No, Cope. The cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving, because if anyone had found your unmarked van, they would have blown it to hell. Just so I wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. God damn it. shit out here again. Oh, yeah, because they're assholes. This, 
Nothing like scrap. This is it. Oh, good. What do we got? <sighs> no, not this way. zone. Oh, I gotta clear it out. I gotta cut down on the swarmers out here. This is Radio Free Orange. The Get truth me right here. shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. But you're not. They're real. Another one. Yeah, time to light it up. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. But you're not. They're real. And they're proof that I was right. We thought Nero died out here like the rest of them. Caving under their own stupidity. But no. Like I said, they've been lying and wait all this time till they can crawl up out of their holes and reclaim this world. 
but it ain't. You don't have a damn clue what you're talking about. Except, yeah, yeah, they will shoot you on sight. Lucky guy. That's it. everything. Ambush!
deer crossing. You know, there was a time where that was a bad idea, and you know what? It still is. Nests. I gotta clear them out. I gotta make it safer to ride through here. Come back later, finish burning out the oh. Biker boys. Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. I keep telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry, even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, we get Al. I got things to do. Rippers, this morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al! Are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you up oh. to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alki. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig? Or you want me out there in the shit? Chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't!
Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long's it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's no, old lady. Can't. He goes Very where he wants. Because the freaks will just dig him up. <laughs> Jesus, God, keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs, damn right we keep burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus, who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You, get your ass back to work. Don't make me go get Cyrus. Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like her, but he only Get caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never no, no, found no, no, her. Is he sure? Larson's God been doing it. as long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Alki. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men. Ask him if you'd ever seen him or heard of him. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? How long don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deacon. 